What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana and I was just looking for my pen. So, to round off our last time, we have had a couple of critically cataclysmic battles against the Royal Navy and British troops. And as you can see, they are not ready to give up their position um, here on the continent. And uh, we really need to make sure we can keep these regions under, under our control. Oh, sorry, I had a series of weird hiccups. Um, keep these regions under our control. So, we have managed to take every British region in the on the mainland. So the next targets are going to be in the Caribbean. We've also got to bear in mind the French are being silly little babies as well. And they're churning out stack after stack after stack out of Cayenne. And then dumping it on the coast here. It's not so much the armies that bother me, because they're all chaff. It's the navies that have me concerned. So obviously I have my, my one five-stack navy. I have um, Philippe Babeuf down here, protecting my capital. So I don't really want to move him. Because if I move him, then they're just going to land and I'm going to have a massive problem to deal with. So I think my main efforts are going to be clearing out the Brits from this region and trying to race down the naval tech tree in order to grow my naval strength and Anita don't worry with wedge formation instead go for grenades and progress down the down the military tech tree is now a what I wonder actually is now a chance for France to make peace if I do if I don't give you the territory Oh, fair enough, I'm not giving you Algonquin territory. Although, which one is that? Ah, Niagara. No, I'm not giving you a region right in the centre of my army. No way. So Philadelphia needs to just hold on if they're attacked by the British. Although really, you, you should be near enough by to support. But let's hit end turn. Yeah, really, we need to grow another navy. Because look, Britain is not giving up her positions. And neither are the French. And we've got enough money to build armies to hold them back. But we need more men. And, well, generally, this is just a bit of an interesting phase to be in. Because we've still got more money than we can spend a turn but now we've actually at least got more things to spend money on. We have a gentleman, Patrice de la Croix, in Maine. So let's get you into a school. Cayuga, can you deal with the new school? You cannot. Towns are not growing. Okay, you need Mohawk to grow. So, so Fort Frontiac had just... They've, he's just done utilitarianism, so they instead are going to go on to we'll see planting drill. Drainage would be pretty good. Selective breeding might not be bad, because it gives us A wealth and also And also um We can upgrade the farms that are currently in position. My lord. You keep building men. This army, Faithful Porter, five stars. Some Grenadiers, let's get them into Boston. More orders. I'm not so bothered about building a fifth rate, but just build a fifth rate. Well, to be honest, I may as well build. Start building a few. Maybe even walls around Boston. Let's put some troops and let's get some... Colonial Light Cav to bolster their forces. You guys need to fully replenish and you're probably going to get some artillery to help you out as well. I've got all the grenadiers I can build so you may as well build the military academy. And just, just keep replenishing for now, you guys. Yes, uh, these majesty. men... I may do some combining here. Yes, my lord. 
Good. I was hoping they wouldn't get intercepted. Let's merge these grenadiers so we can build another unit of grenadiers down here. Your Majesty. Ready and awaiting orders. March them up. Let's add the strongest units in. At the ready. Let's take this weakest unit to make up the numbers as far as possible. I mean, some of them, just, it's just going to be impossible. Like, these two units are broken units. Okay, you guys replenish. You guys stay where you are. Okay, I've not got anything cool up here I can charge down to the front with. Could build... Could build walls around Boston. Why not? Yes. I think we may have to risk another end turn. As much as I don't want to. Fort Nashwerk, you're 100%. Oh that's, oh, that's a French priest up there. I forgot about that. Yep. Declan Howe. Ah, so we also got improved grenades. So the grenades get us the Ordnance Factory, but we've already got those. We've got a great arsenal over here. Okay, instead, a needer. You might want to go for... Help thick out our naval track for now. So let's upgrade the school in Montreal. Because you're... well, you, you're, not, you're not super happy. In four turns you'll get your new town, your new city. Down. So let's just not upgrade the schools yet. Okay, let's hit end turn. And let's see what the British response is. It is to raid. So the... F the Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia garrison is enough to st is will be strong enough to, stri to strike south and knock out those remaining troops. We'll have an army ready to knock out the army that sat in one of the ports in the northeast. But I'll probably want to send an army to go up and chase down that British army specifically to prevent them from doing too much raiding damage. At least that is my intention. But you know how, uh, <laughs> what intentions are like in this game. Any raid in the trap post. This is the army that's just got lots of scouts, yeah. Ready and waiting order. Okay, let's pick up a general for this force. Gautier Brissot. Lovely. I can't build a great arsenal because I haven't got shh, I haven't got the special I haven't got explosive Sorry. shells. You men I've oh got five thousand to replenish this entire army. Expensive. We've created another agent. Adrian Marie Robespierre. You go to Hartford because Hartford doesn't have any. Good. Lots of recruitment. That was our new agent. Nope, I'm not going to give you any territory for peace. At the ready. Okay, let's take Julian up to here. March. Oh damn, I thought I'd stop just short to attack these guys. Orders, That's annoying. Majesty. Oh well. New Haven will develop. Then Providence. 
Yeah, we very much need the American shipyards to start hammering out ships. Oh god. If the French land and take their territory, I'll be happy about that. God damn. We've taken the northeast. Now we have to hold there. But that does mean that those armies are now have now left their threatening position to the south. So that means we've got a breathing some breathing space to push troops out of our to take that, that cool army and go and start taking enemy possessions in the Caribbean, which would be pretty nice. I mean, right now we're very much suffering from a capacity standpoint when it comes to building ships rather than financial. Okay. So we're probably going to lose Falmouth. That's okay. West India Company Infantry. Oh, these are this is West Indies. I remember that Mitchell and Webb sketch. Two more guns. Three more infantry. Your humble servant. Get some militia into Albany. Yeah, you're still not super happy. Still replenishing. Get another unit of infantry. So we've got two new naval techs, which is great. We want probably... Okay, let's stop Hartford from researching that. Let's get Anita to start getting re naval shore facilities because they've got more gentlemen to research. This guy can't really upgrade anything yet. Because we've not got anywhere that's completely suitable. Okay, these men have to attack the to this British army, destroy them, do as much damage as possible, and then, well, replenish and get ready to face the French. It may even be wise, I doubt my ships can get there in one turn, but to go take the North Brazilian coast. Put the guns up on the hill ahead, uh, behind us. Let's have our central formation. Then we've got a brigade on, the, on one flank, a brigade on the other flank. General in the centre, we've got no cavalry. Skirmishes will probably be put on the right as well. Okay, let's take our centre formation, push it up, brigade on the right, we can also push up, brigade on the left, just advance somewhat closer. So it's just a, a the bulk of African musketeers and and militiamen. So our artillerymen have a exceptional target. So hopefully they can the fourth the third and fourth regiments of foot artillery. Even though he's missing the barrel. Good work, Johnson. Or, or Jacques. Uh, let's speed up time. Because I'm not sure what flank I want to push. Probably try to wrap up the right flank. Because that's where the I've got... Not spare capacity, that's the wrong way to put it. But I've, I've, over, I've got an overmatch, a definite overmatch.
let's run this flank because they may be in a position to get some early shots off. Everyone's focusing this way, and this these guys just like, but, but, but there's guys over there. That's where the bad guys are, everyone. Okay, let's push our formations up. In anticipation. Combat. I may want to be slightly angled backwards on this flank because you will not have as much support. There we go. My skirmish is up on the hill. Should be devastating to enemy morale. I mean, I could place them behind these... Probably a idea. I mean, how long they'll last, I don't know. There we go. The battle's been joined in the centre as well. So let's get our guns focusing more on this flank because they'll need a bit more support because we're going to roll up this flank I'm, in my opinion fairly simply I was going to say they didn't really want to get behind the wall no that does mean less troops firing Slightly, allegedly. Come on, fellas. Provide deadly accurate fire. Okay, this is pretty devastating for them to be doing a big formation reshuffle. So much so, let's push this flank forward so they can have some fun too. First Grenadiers are in. So they've routed. general along. Let's get ready to roll up this flank, it looks like. Okay, to help support the left flank we need to drive, we need to roll back the right flank. the African infantry to the to the front. Okay, let's do this instead. They are managing to break enemy formations. They just keep the artillery pounding. Ok, 
Okay, we can start to form a slight wedge in the enemy's line. Surf a pick. Oh god, that was a, that was a bit funky. Oh, let's check. I need to test something out. No. Apparently, I've pressed insert. Um, might be able to follow the cannonball line, but that might just be on Napoleon. Man, that's actually made. Feels like the game's running a bit weird now to me. general involved like that yeah like that's really okay, what are we... yeah like that's that's really odd Okay, seems to have seems to have stopped a bit. Position. So we're attacking the Native American infantry. No, well, well, the African infantry. Which should start to suffer from withering cross cutting fire. the native Africans and show them what Frenchmen are capable of, despite my really, really, really English accent while well, saying it. Realistically, my general is only going to be able to do so much when it comes to uh, beating back. I'm not even beating back, just trying to do damage. I have not got a very pursuit themed army. These men are shaken, they're going to be very upset very soon. the action. It's not getting tunnel vision into sniping this one particular militia unit. Let's pivot. These guys now finally. Let's get my guns to focus on 
this lone unit back here. Let's actually dispatch some infantry to go head them off. But my general, just keep running and avoid them. The colonial militia that's standing their ground, but not for much longer. Pretty sure the 50th are going to break as well. So it comes down to what this general's going to do. He's going to stand by his men. So there's my generals being a ruthless MF and cutting people down. boys, you need to get into a position to kill them. Present. And assassinate that general. Come back, you coward. Don't you want to fight a man with a gun? You coward with a sword. like this leader of colonial troops he is going to live to fight another day even if his men do not come on let the 26th get into position oh he's gonna get away there he is Put one into the small of his back. You may not want to get into position. Nope. Let's charge into the back of the native musketeers. Now where is Mon General? Triple speed. If you won't let me stop you firing manually, then I will just uh, set you to uh, limber up. Stupid audio thingy. Um, ah, everyone's routed and the only ones left are the, are the African infantry to the north and they've been destroyed. That was the first battle, which we've cut their numbers in half. March up here Forward, for your to try and shepherd them. Ready. You still need to replenish. You're going to stay where you are. Because I don't want you fighting, fighting large armies on the open ground. Good, we're upgrading and everything's going okay. Okay, Hartford instead go for... Sextant to increase our movement range rather than our rather specifically than our um artillery technology. Navy is where we need to spend the money now. And like I said, they've given us a good opportunity here. Because we could start to build a garrison. Down here, Any further orders? while taking Ship a squadron of ships. Ready and awaiting orders. Forward, march. 
because we can't go straight down here. That's unfortunate. But what we can go for is we could take... Oh, that's a meager yield coffee plantation or an abundant yield port in Jamaica. Or do we just secure the, ba the Bahamas first because they're nearer to our territory and also the British will use this to try and reinforce them to reinforce their troops. Or to reinforce their armies, sorry. Let's put our navy into port. So we have done some damage. Yes, sir. He's going to have an order to attack Nassau. The ones who take Nassau, it will be Port Royal. And then we can stage navies further out ahead to cut off the French. So I anticipate something interesting is going to happen in some description or another. So let's hit end turn. And see what happens prior to ending the episode. Because now we are... We're over the, over the timer. Ooh, yeah, actually, that's not too bad. It might be kind of bad. I mean, the armies are really, really depleted, but we've not got that many good units either, so I think I might try and blow a hole in the wall and force them all to come and get me. But that's the good... That's the, uh, the time we were talking about when uh, I think that's the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for... A bit of a dodgy defense of um philadelphia so cheers everyone <laughs>